week and then before that, you know, uh, what happened in Lots X, yeah, how big of a confidence booster is this one going forward? Uh, this was big, especially on uh, like all facets of football, special teams, defense, and offense. We were just kind of get back to the basics and the little details that made us so successful last year. And we've had a rough beginning of the year schedule, so this felt really good to get out there and just do what we do. I mean, especially going now, going in against Sam Houston, like like the timing of it, like how well do you feel? Like, you know, how do you feel like, I guess, going into the Sam Houston game? Oh, it definitely builds confidence for that game, especially just being able to watch their games as well the last couple of weeks and see what they've been putting on tape as well. And then just going this game, hoping everybody comes out healthy so we can go into there next week with all the energy we can get. Uh, I really wasn't worried about the other t like team that we were playing. It was just basically assignment execution on offense, getting back to what we do because we were missing that in the very beginning of the schedule. So just kind of getting back to the little details, and because as an offense, especially you gotta go out there and perform it no matter what, whoever's right. on the other side of the ball. Right. How many points? Like that's the most, most since 2009. <laughs> Dang. Ooh, is that Jeremy Moses years? Yes. It was. Yeah, that's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dang. Yeah, I didn't know all that. <laughs> oh, I feel great. I hope everybody else does too, just because next week's a big week and we want to go out there, be in the last panel, bottle of the Piney Woods for maybe a long time, just get back there and take over the trophy right. in our favor. Right. Oh, yeah, built a lot of trust. I mean, there's a lot of guys that also for the future as well, guys that didn't think they would get to play this year or getting a chance to have live action yeah. against a team that can help in the future runs for this place. Mm-hmm. Uh, it means a lot because I know the time that we put in off the field and extra hours when nobody's looking, and that's what's kind of come to display. And I'm proud of him. He's a special dude. He makes my job a lot easier. And he's one of a kind, and this place will have a tough spot. to. We have some guys who go in and fill him, but he's one of a kind here, and I'm happy for him. Mm-hmm. I really haven't. I've never even looked at the records and stuff. I just see the Jeremy Moses stuff all the time. He went crazy, but I don't ever really like chase records. I just want to win. I want to change this place. When I came here in 2019, it was all about changing this place around. So, just trying to get back to closest as we can to a natty, if not a natty. So. Uh, for me, I've had a rough first three games, and even then, after all the games, the one we won against Aquan, I still didn't feel good about it, how I performed. And for me, it's just getting back out there and just getting back to the basic details and finding that confidence again and just being myself because I was trying to be Superman the whole first three games, and I don't need to do that. I just need to be Trey Self. And so out there was really just, like I said, not really about what the other team was doing. It's just more about us operating as an offense and getting back on the same page with everybody. Oh, I loved it. I, I felt like that was the most fans we've had here in a, in a long time. And it, it was awesome to see that everybody coming in for the, especially home opener. I hope it turns out like this every home game because it, it definitely means a lot. Thank you. Yeah, like going, I asked your quarterback this, you know, just what kind of uh, confidence did this team, did this win do for you individually and the team? Um, it get us prepared, you know. We found our rhythm. We're trying to find our rhythm get back on the same page and right. try to figure out our weaknesses. We wasn't really focused on the strength, so I think the confidence, it boosted a little bit more to what we was, where we was last year. Yeah, and how important was that to go in, going into the San Francisco game? I think it's very important. We're playing a, a great team, you know, a, a highly ranked team, highly known team in the nation. So it, um, 
I think we're gonna. Be, I think it help, helped that a lot. Wearing number sixteen, you know, in, like, can you tell me a little bit about that? Like, what, like what that means to you? Um, I seen it out a lot. I know it's a tradition that goes on at SFA, right. and I didn't know how big it was, a big idea it was. So I start wearing it, and I can honestly say it's like it put me in my feelings a little bit, you know, because right. things can get taken away just like that. You know, and especially in the game you love, so it felt good like going to the end zone and going to see Miss Callie Belcher, uh, Miss Belcher mom, and it just it just gave me a, a good feeling right. to do that. You know. Yeah. Okay. Well, from your standpoint, like what was your uh, like what were your expectations coming in? Um, honestly, I didn't know. I just I just show up and play football. You know. Right. And. So, I didn't have a very high expectations. Exactly. I just had great goals. Yeah, so now, uh, you now are now second all time in career touchdowns. Um, is that something you keep track of, or uh, is it meaningful to you? I usually don't keep track on it. I, I like to uh, I like to play team ball, so I don't really worry about my statistics and things. I worry about how we can win. You know, that's all. <laughs> that's all that really matters to me is when we win and we play. Great football, like we used, to, like we usually do. Um, what, I know you just kind of said you have to get your expectations for an offensive coordinator, but when you were playing, like, how were you feeling? What did you see? Um, did you feel like offensively we did what we do? I started uh, to see that we was attacking our weaknesses, turning those into strengths. Well, me and Trey haven't been connecting a lot lately, due to um, really just missing a spring ball. So it feel good to finally get back on track with Trey and our run game finally hitting the holes hard and our outside is making uh, making more bigger plays explosive so we attacked our weaknesses. So you mentioned it a little bit but talk about more a little bit more in detail about your your next opponent and the importance of that look on you when it comes to SFA and also this you your it's not just the last uh, final year's game but it's also your last final year's game too. Yes sir um it's a big game. I mean, I haven't beat them since I've been here, you know. And, you know, it's a big rival. It's been going on for a long time in the Piney Woods, you know, and they kind of grew on me as I've been here. You know, it wasn't a big deal. I thought it was just another game. Now it just grew on me because I lost to them two two times since I've been at SFA, you know. And they're a good team, and I know it's my last game, you know, playing against them. And the last going on game playing against them in the Piney Woods, the Battle of the Piney Woods. So, we're going to see who's going to go on top and take the last strike. Really uh, fun night for the Lumberjacks and, and uh, uh, got, got to play a lot of people and, and a, lot of, a lot of crazy plays out there. Uh, luckily for us, they all went, went our way, uh, so fired up about that. Uh, most important thing was, or most uh, influential thing was the, just the crowd. Gosh almighty, for a home opener, that's the biggest crowd I've seen in, in my four years here. And they were loud and uh, wore white, and I think got their money's worth. So uh, plenty of fireworks there during the game, and then a bunch afterwards. But uh, big thanks to the crowd, uh, the students, the parents, family weekend, and just everybody that's here to support this team. Uh, they felt it and uh, had a lot of fun out there tonight. Uh, got out, of, got out of hand a little bit there. Uh, we tried to speed things up with shorter uh, quarters there in the second half and and uh, just get the game game done. But. Uh, there's just a lot of turnovers and a lot of big plays, and, and so a lot of points ended up on the board. And uh, you know, proud of proud of our guys for for playing a clean game. You know, I've, I've been in games like this before, and and that third and fourth quarter is just a complete mess. Uh, trying to have 11 guys out there and special teams and penalties and everything else. And and that's what I told them at the uh, at halftime. I didn't care about a shutout. I didn't care what the final score was. I wanted to, for us to play to our standard. Uh, for 60 minutes, and, and uh, we were able to do that for, uh, I guess, 54 uh, minutes because uh, it wasn't a full 60-minute game. But uh, really, really proud of our guys. And, you know, again, we got to play a bunch. There was 38 guys made defensive tackles or the, the defensive stat sheet, and our whole scout team, we, we call them the Peacocks, uh, and, and some of those guys were out there making some plays, tap a hat, Peacocks, you know, that's why we go do it in practice. So it's fun. You know, wins like that are, are good for the program. 
uh, good for the morale and, and everything else. But uh, appreciate Coach Burks uh, bringing those guys over and, and uh, you know, hope, hope a couple guys got hurt are okay and, and everything else. But I appreciate the game because that game was, you know, not going to happen uh, had, had they not taken it uh, with, the, with the two schools. Uh, bailing on the on the conference realignment stuff, uh, it left us in a in a bind, and, and these guys are the only team that had a had an open spot, and so uh, uh, they got some a financial uh, boost out of it, and, and we got a game, and, and so hopefully everybody wins uh, in in the long run. Hey, coach, how important was it just to get that bad taste out of your mouth after La Tech, and then the confidence boost that that gave? Well, you know, it, it just we hadn't been playing to our standard. You know, we lost. You know. Two times we played FBS teams, and two times they beat us. That's what they're supposed to. But but we weren't pleased with how we lost those games and, and how we played. Uh, you know, good in spurts at times in those games, but just not 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 our standard. Didn't play a, a complete game. weren't getting a lot of production out of offense. weren't uh, you know really clean on defense. And so we had two weeks to gnaw on that and sleep on that. Didn't sleep much. I'll be honest with you. But you know, coaches worked hard, players worked hard, and, and like I say, our whole season. It's still in front of us, and, and they know that. And so it was good to see some improvement uh, and, and just the efficiency on offense tonight. You know, throwing the football was really good and, and made some good good checks and just some things that we've not done uh, well. Our OP, RPO game was much more efficient, and so that was that was good to see. Uh, defense, you know, uh, you know, kept hard, hard to shut somebody out. I don't care who you're playing in the game of college football, and, and they were able to do that. There were some things to, to get cleaned up, a couple of misfits and, uh, you know, um, Miss IDs there and that, that we'll work on, but that's that's why you play the game, and, and they didn't result in points this time, and so that was that was good to see. Yeah. And then, Terry, what would you work on? Like, what's your best point going to be working on from now on down next week? Well, it'd just be uh, you know Sam Houston. You know, we've we've obviously uh, you know looked at them a little bit. You know, they've played three games. They they were off tonight, and so uh, that's you know they're a familiar foe. Uh, they've got some new coaches uh, on on on. Both sides of the ball there, so they've got some new wrinkles, and and so uh, you know we, we're gonna you know try to put together a good game plan for those guys and, and rep that this week and and roll in this last battle of the Piney Woods and, and try to uh, uh, represent SFA in a, in a good light and, and uh, hopefully it's a it's a good game. You know they've got again this will be our third FBS opponent to play. They've they're, they're a good program. They beat us ten years in a row for a reason and and everything. So uh, now they got a few more scholarships on top of that, but but we'll. Uh, Rivalry games, you can throw it all out the window. We had no business being in the game in 2019, and, and we were in it in the fourth quarter, had a chance to win. Last year, was a, it was a barn burner, and uh, I hope this year's a good football game too. I, I, I don't think they're playing at the level they want to, and we're not playing at the level we want to just yet. Uh, but, but throw it all out the window, and let's tee it up one last time and, and uh, see what happens. Okay, I didn't even know that was uh, good for good for Xavier. He did what now? What did he do? He number two in the Number two. Well, good, good. He, he's deserving, you know, and, and what a fine young man he was. He was awarded the Cali Belcher uh, Award tonight and uh, got to got to represent Cali and his family and all his teammates, and, and that's the highest honor you can uh, you can earn as a lumberjack, and and I believe. I was told on the field, the only stat I was told on the field is that's the first time that number 16 has ever scored in a game. Oh, really? And so uh, I think that's, uh, that's a great tribute, tip of the hat, and, uh, to Callie and, and his family and, and his teammates and, and all that loved him and what he represented. But that, that's why Xavier got that award, because he is so humble and such a fantastic young man, and he's a, a terrific player too. So congratulations to him on that stat. I, I, I don't know of what the scoring record was. I'm sure it's got to be close or something. I, 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 I didn't want it. We were trying not to get that high, but punt returns and turnovers, and I was really disappointed in the last touchdown. But, you know, obviously I've got to uh, do a better job because not everybody pays attention to my instructions, and uh, we, we shouldn't have scored that last one, but it is what it is. There you go. So 109 or 90? 109. Yeah, fantastic. If, uh, well, good. Um, 
Yeah, they, hey, that's that's kudos to the defense. You know, we've we've you know turned the apple cart over there. We've lost you know seven all conference players. You know, from last year's defense, a whole new defensive staff, new DC, and you know we've been going through some growing pains, uh, trying to you know get on the same page. I think we've improved every week, and so uh, shutouts are hard to come by. I mean, I was a DC at one time, and you know they had some really some great defenses, but very few shutouts. And so uh, I know we'll enjoy this one for the next 24 hours, and then. Uh, be prepared, you know, start getting prepared to play the play the Bearcats.